So I should build on someone's idea. Oh my god. <laughs> no, no, I, I was saying like everywhere I see right, left, down, it's even, even, even. <laughs> I'll stop spamming. <laughs> no, you have so many ideas. I just post you one. I, I thought I need to make fun, so I was ah, okay. trying to make fun. I don't think I have an idea of it. Uh, and when you build something, can I again build on that or reply or is it? You can. But if it looks like this now, after some time it will look really bad, right? After when all these things are connected, interconnected and... Mm. Yeah, it, it looks really like a mess of... Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, within two, it looks really confusing. And are they also going to use this in the KB Passion camp, data camp? Yeah, yes. Okay. So we need to run something like this in some classroom or something to collect some data. Uh, what should I build on? If you reply to someone, is it good? Like suppose I say yes, I do, or something like that. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> a bit more. Okay. Yeah, with because, some evidence or some. Because songs. these replies are also like only one. I mean, this is okay, but. You can do research and add links or uh, images. Let's try that. Hmm. I'm trying to re respond to Yun. Uh, I'm check what are the countries that where the um, recycling is mandatory. I mean, the example that comes up in India always is about Japan because the way they are. I mean, I don't know much about Korea, but in Japan they have this. Uh, not about recycling, it's about cleanliness. Mm -hmm. Like the, whenever they go to any foreign country, like in like a football matches or cricket or anything, they just even clean the trash of other people when they find like these are like. Yeah, uh, yeah. There was, there was a lot of news articles uh, on that. Like, like social campaigns. Yeah, yeah. And then people in India start talking about the mentality, like because they're trained mm -hmm. like that from their childhood that mm -hmm. they should keep their surrounding clean or something. Yeah. Like they, they don't think that, okay, it's not my work, why oh. should I touch the. Or something like that. Like, uh, but I don't think there's any. How to connect two ideas? I mean, if you want to reply to my question, then mm. you can post this. I mean, uh, I think Google. these two ideas more or less. We can just post mm. a Google link as a reply. Right? Mm, no, I I don't think it's necessarily about that thing because it's no recycling. About right? Whether it's mandatory or if ah. it's optional, but, but this is more like ranking. So how can we merge them together? No, it's not possible. Merge. Oh, that's a nice post. Mm. Oh, oh, come on. Sorry. No. Mm. Let's forget about this. The psychology of why people don't recycle. <laughs> Did you also get that? No, I think that's very interesting. Yeah, that's a nice article. I just googled it and the first one was that. I can send this as a reply to you. Copy. Uh, so how do we reply? So for reply also you type build on. That's the only option. To reply to some comment, mm. I also type build on. Mm. And then the build on. So, how do you say this? Like, so now I'm providing additional information to her question, which she asked that is it relevant to mentality? Like, the, mm -hmm. I find that link. 
So I say this thing and then say putting our knowledge together? I think what? not yet. Not, not so soon. Putting our knowledge together, that is the rise above. Yeah. You wanted to... Because what, all what the other options are not... Yeah, constructs. Like mm. additional information or if you are right. I mean, I don't find them relevant to mention this. Like, it's not a theory. Uh, a better theory, no. New information, no. It's in the internet. This theory cannot explain... What, who are you responding to? You, Green. You. What did she say? Uh, th there should be research. Where on recycling is meant? On the kind of, I need to understand whether the low recycling rate is relevant. Like how the recycling rate is it related to the mentality. There's. Oh, you want to respond to it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. You have an answer or it's just your opinion? You have a uh, backup just evidence based? Because you are asking about oh. research, so I just send the research. <laughs> this is very interesting. But the problem is, I uh, am not okay. sure, apart from this, I'm not sure how all these options uh, won't fit okay. in Can the Can you category. put new information? But I don't think this is new just, information. Just right? put it there. It's new information. Isn't it? Wow, I should reduce the bit dot Do you use it's the really link? Huge. No, do you use the link format? Ah, uh, okay. We're supposed to be better than them for knowledge forum, but they are very good. <laughs> they are young people. Of <laughs> no, I mean, I, I'm also seeing the speech to text and this, that. that no, so for me also, I've not used it for quite some time. I'm also like losing my... <laughs> That's very interesting. Like, why? Are, have you edited? I have something to say to that. I want to talk about housing, uh, uh, the structure of housing. Mm. That has an effect on, in Switzerland like Singa and Singapore. Mm. I mean, okay. yeah, because in Singapore, it's high-rise buildings. Yeah. So recycling, it does impede recycling in the sense that you have to come uh, down. all the way to... Mm. And also Chinese cooking. It's really, it's really, really uh, horrible, the smell. If you were to really observe recycling, you need to dispose immediately. Mm. That's why the high-rise buildings have those uh, rubbish that shoots. For you to ah okay um, like the yeah. come down mm. the, I mean like that even our mm. cooking is very strong in smell mm. okay class I think we have um some really exciting ideas and uh, theories informations on the knowledge problem um I like us to uh, talk about it mm. and um share our mm. knowledge together. And co construct some new knowledge. Just wait. When we start, I'll also start the mic. Yeah. But and why people don't research? Mm -hmm. uh, as I can see, that uh, there are many new questions um, coming on board to this overarching question that what are the challenges that fostering oh. um, reduce, reuse, and recycle? Mm -hmm. We talk about mindset, we talk about talk about psychological issues, we talk about uh, reinforcement at the community level, at the national level, at the municipality level. Mm. And we also talk about different countries having different directions, goals for recycling, and different policies uh, to frame that uh, recycling effort. And uh, perhaps we, we would like to uh, um, yeah, share about how your country drives uh, recycling mm -hmm. and what you see is effective or not effective oh. and why mm -hmm. maybe let's start anyone can start mm -hmm. uh, perhaps i talk about singapore first the uh, housing structure i think that is a great uh, hindrance to recycling first the high-rise buildings um, in the high-rise building and the build up of the, the apartment which means to say that you, you it, it takes conscious effort uh, to to dispose and to divide your rubbish, uh, uh, no, if you were to do recycling habitually mm -hmm. or daily or weekly, mm -hmm. or you find a storage room in your respective apartments to store these different um, garbage and dispose them on a weekly basis. And the other built in. Uh, feature that we have in most high-rise buildings in Singapore is um, the rubbish uh, chutes that facilitate quick disposal of uh, household waste, especially those um, 
raw food or stale food and I would think that this also um, it, it doesn't motivate people to to do recycling if you can quickly dispose those uh, garbage in the kitchen through the rubbish issues so my uh, my theory is that what will promote recycling or hinders recycling has got to do with um, the way the buildings are made apart from governmental policies and campaigns or to drive this recycling uh, practice in the, at the community or at the national level. Yeah, anyone else? You said the housing style, I mean the highest rise High rise building is a hindrance for the recycling. Mm -hmm. so I have different kind of opinion because we in Korea we have like many house high rise high rise building. How high is the height? Mm, it can be up to like sixty floors or it can six be zero. Oh, six That's zero. Yes. <laughs> I mean like normal apartments are yeah. like twenty mm -hmm. stories okay. building, and um, there is a de designated places for recycling. So I think it's like easier than just like one story housing because we have designated section for plastic, clothes, and like other, other materials. So we, we know for sure where we have to dump them. But if you're living in a like one-story house, then it's kind of obscure how to categorize them. So uh, it's better to have system already in the apartment so we can dump in the... How near are these centers for you to dispose the garbage? Huh? How near the nearness, the distance uh, from the... It's usually in the ground uh, level three. Oh, uh, within the same same, same building. block, the yeah. same structure. Uh, I see. Okay. So we can just put mm. uh, the garbage uh, in the elevator, mm. and we can just put it down. Mm. So I, I think it's an easy system. Mm. So probably um, my theory doesn't explain uh, the hindrance very well. A new theory would be would be what would be, what do you think is that the new uh, yeah. That explains the why why what uh why people are not um motivated to mm -hmm. observe recycling or what are the real challenges? Mm, it it can't be that simple because <laughs> I think like somebody mentioned earlier, uh, I think it's really about the people's mindset, and I I don't even remember where this mindset came from when it comes to Korean people because I I mean I I have been with. Uh, used to, uh, I'm I'm used to the system for entire my life, so I, I don't know where this mind oh. came from. Actually. I mean, the reason I mentioned about the mindset was because uh, the current prime minister of India, when he was elected for the first time, like five or six years back, he started a movement on a particular day called uh, in Hindi it is called Swachh Bharat Abhiyan, which means Clean India Campaign. And after that, he also made some short videos of cleaning the beach and other places where he removed plastic on hand. Uh, so I'm not talking about more about 3R, but I'm talking about the cleanliness. So he tried to show to people that from a such senior leader, you should not think, because in Indian mindset, it's like if you are cleaning and you are involved with that, then it's like a very uh, menial job or something like that and it's like we people who are staying in rich sports community or something like that and many other people we should not be we'll pay someone to do it but we won't be <laughs> and, and it's the so when he started this thing that from that top level a person mm -hmm. is giving such effort it created some kind of feeling among people and after that there was really significant results if you go to cities there are some cities where you won't find a single trash even the station and everything sometimes i compare like netherlands is still okay some parts of germany i feel are more dirty than india now there are some cities in india like it has changed a lot in this five years he has changed a lot mm -hmm. and recently also again when he was re-elected he made so in between he just keeps reminding people also celebrates that day as the Clean India campaign. He has made a particular day to make it a memory. Mm -hmm. And every year he has, when he's made this, he compulsorily announced the names of some local movie stars mm -hmm. and some people that you will endorse this. And then because he mentioned their name on public, 
so they also thought that it is their responsibility and in some tv serials and something people have this kind of episode where they go to a community and clean for real but they also show it on the tv series so it's just from the top level he created an example and then he tried to motivate instigate everyone to have that mindset and nothing is small or big and anyone can clean and if you keep it clean you will be free from diseases and all these things and lot has improved after that like I've never that realized is. that there are so many ways to look at the challenges of recycling. Yeah, I think yeah. what um, Yuen mentioned uh, about mindset and what you would you just surface about cultural mm. differences, how mm. how cultural can affect uh, the way we perceive mm. recycling. Like we liken recycling to some low layer, like blue collar job, you know, like yeah, the, mm. low level. That's and a how idea. The prime, yeah, that's the very. <laughs> <laughs> and how the prime minister actually approached the change, how to change people's mindset with a very good strategy mm. using celebrities as models mm. and the top level approach, like yeah, the rich people as uh, mm. as models, uh, and yeah. we follow suit. That this association or this mindset, the the equation is like overcome. That it's not a low low level job. Yeah, yeah. You know? uh, yeah. I mean because of that. Fifty percent people willingly did it, and fifty percent because their name was announced, and they are forced into this kind of community. So they had to do it, and in the meantime, because of that, everyone also follows them. Like, okay, he is my role model. He acts in the movies, and we like him, and he is doing it, so we should also do it. And that's like like a chain movement. He just created the chain, and then it was like. Also, I think there is certain amount of peer pressure in Korean society too, oh. because we sometimes set up a CCTV camera like on the <laughs> on the place uh, for the recycling. So oh. if people ah, categorize okay. them in a like wrong place, mm. then they will be fine. be fined or they will be like publicly shamed. Oh, hey, that is yeah, a good yeah. thing. I mean, that is like a straight cases, thing, but still, it's yeah. good. I, I feel that that should be shamed. Done. But so far, has like, there been occurrence? If people will. <laughs> Print, print out. Oh my goodness, your face! Oh, print out. Not speech to text. Let's do that. Like, and put it on the elevator. So, okay. oh my God. yeah, people can publicly see like, who, who else was the person who was... <laughs> this, <laughs> is quite, <laughs> this is quite extreme. That I think is, in oh, our Chinese really society extreme. and uh, Asian, this, uh -huh. this might work. But in Western countries or in European countries, because of human rights, there will be protests, uh -huh. the, the yeah, public face. shaming, they yeah. will not accept it as yeah, readily yeah, yeah. as yeah. we Asians uh, can accept something but like that. But still I feel, I mean, they will obviously accept it in India, but if they do it, then I think compared to this type of approach, if he had done it something like this, maybe there will be protests, whatever I know about Indians, like maybe, maybe they will break something and they will be very angry, like if yeah. they are put in public, like he's the person who's mm. doing it. Most of the time, uh, people put mosaic on the photo, <laughs> or like even blur. Okay. The photo book, you can you can yeah. actually recognize that it's you, right? So, <laughs> so the situation, people. Oh, see. How about you are how we? And now it gets a... How about how we? Uh, mm. Yeah, how does the uh, recycling roll right, out in so your country? What are the effective measures that you you perceive your government has taken? Ah uh, yes, uh, our government just. Um, was published a policy to force people to do that and we gonna ask people some volunteers to stand in front of the trash bin <laughs> and <laughs> paid volunteers or yeah yeah they are paid and uh, or say they are the how do you say the um, co uh, coordinator of the community mm. and something like that and they're gonna stand in, in front of the catch, uh, trash bin and the people gonna feel shameful if they don't throw the um, trash correctly. Do they sometimes help categorizing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're gonna teach you how to uh, categorize it. Um, how intensive is the recycling effort, the reduce, reuse, and recycle effort when you compare to um, Germany or Netherlands? Are there that many different types of garbage or are you targeting? Yeah, we only? have uh, like uh, four to six kinds of uh, categories. Mm -hmm. oh. and. Uh, but the thing is that uh, we just started the policy this year, mm -hmm. and, uh, and so at the beginning the the strength should be quite strong. But I don't know how it can go uh, in the later uh, mm -hmm. phase. But are mm -hmm. people well aware of this policy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, mm, because it's fresh policy, so mm -hmm. people are willing to obey. 
But, Any yeah. fine attached to it if you don't um, observe recycling? What are the deterrent? What are the deterrent measures um, for those who refuse to? Um, I don't. I'm not that sure. Should we uh, do more survey on this? Oh, all right. Okay. Yeah. Mm -mm. So I, I think the, the that uh, the, the idea needs uh, other work. <laughs> Is it still recording? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. Um, I think we can have a brief sum up here that the mm. challenges to foster recycling are multi multifaceted. It can be cultural mm. mindset, not just mindset, but cultural mindset about our association with the very act of recycling. Mm. And um, for Singapore, the structure of the the way the buildings are built and um, the also cultural issues such as uh, Chinese cooking, those those kind of garbage, household garbage, household waste needs to be disposed immediately. And uh, Yun talked about, um, I think from Yun's, what she has mentioned would be more as um, enforcement mm. and also also has the way has to do with the way that it is being structured. That is that at the ground level of that same structural building, it is already um, made possible for you to dispose this different garbage. You need not travel like a mile to a different centre with all your garbage. Mm -hmm. And I think from uh and from for that also like when he started that for that reason four years back, we have like a door to door collection of different type of waste mm -hmm. initiated mm -hmm. after that. It, it is not happening in every mm -hmm. city but in most of the cities, not in all villages mm -hmm. and everything. Because India is huge. Mm -hmm. But uh, they implement try to implement as much as possible. Mm. Yeah. So um we can take this to a new level mm -hmm. and I think that um what we what we have um Taken together, what we have discovered so far is um, apart from policies enforced at the governmental level, cultural um, differences is an, could be an issue and um, association with the uh, concept of recycling. How people per perceive recycling in different cultures yeah. could be also very could be very real challenges on the success of um, fostering the three R's, reduce, reuse and recycle. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I think we need more information about um, the psychological factors behind uh, mm. why people do not recycle, even though the, um, the system is put in place. Mm. Are there still any other uh, psychological barriers to recycling? Probably we need to do some research on that. Mm. But I think so far we have um, we have come together to to explore this topic on the challenges of recycling quite effectively. Any, anything else? Anything else to add? Okay, let's stop here. Uh, Can yeah. we cut? Yeah. Ah. In the beginning it was knowledge, now recycling is coming up. But this, the, have we stopped the video? Yeah.